All right. So I am going to do um, a, I guess kind of like, well, I'm going to, I'm going to do a tarot card reading um, on Gypsy Rose Blanchard. Um, I want to do, I kind of, I want to like use these to see what I can pick up. I guess she's getting released from prison um, soon. Um, and I want to, I find, you know, it's so interesting that case. So, I, okay, I'm going to kind of talk just what I can pick up from her energy when I look at her, when I look at photographs of her. Um, first of all, she the energy is very familiar to me because she reminds me, the energy reminds me of a friend, a girl I was friends with um, for a very long time. Um, we were friends for off and on, like for like 18 years. Um, I met her when I was in kindergarten or preschool um, and our moms were friends, okay? Um, anyways, her energy reminds me of her, I don't know, it's a lot of, that. I do that some a lot of times, like when I, I compare energies, like if it reminds me of someone, I'll instantly like think of them and she reminds me of that, of my friend from back then. Anyways, um, when I look at her and I've always, every time I've looked at a picture of her, and this is just my opinion, um, what I can intuitively pick up from her energy, I get a mischievous energy from her. Okay. Um, I under, I understand. Okay. I have watched things on this girl on this case. I've read things. Um, not in, in a long time, like a couple years ago. Um, but, and I understand what happened to her. Okay. I understand that. I understand that she was horrifically abused. Um, but when I look at her, okay, like current or, you know, more current photos of what's out there, um, I get a, not only a, a mischievous side to her, but a, an awareness, okay, that is not talked about. There's an awareness from her, on, in her energy, the whole situation between her and the mother, I feel as a child, I feel that that girl as a child was like there was not an awareness, right? But the older she got, I feel between her and the mother, and this is just what I'm picking up, okay? And you can disagree with me, but when I feel something, I, you know, and I've thought about it. I've thought about this for a few days, okay? And tried to feel the energy, and it's the same thing I keep getting pulled back to, okay? I feel the, right, this girl was horrifically, yes, abused and brainwashed as a child, but the older she became, there was an awareness on both ends, okay, on her end and the mother's end. I feel it was more, okay, yes, I know this is it's hard to explain. If that's, if, okay, the way she was raised, right, to think that she was sick and you have all these problems, but I truly feel the older she became, it was an awareness and right, it's almost like, yeah, you're forced. She was forced into this, right? But there's an awareness like we, like the mother can like talked her into like, we can do this together. There's an awareness on both ends. Um, and and for on her end too, feeling like, well, okay, you know, the, this is the way I was raised. It's like, I have to be this way anyways, so I might as well go along with it instead of fighting it, okay? But I feel like on her end, on Gypsy's end, the more 
the more she was, the more she was aware, it's like a, if I agree and go along with it and, and like the mother was, it was like a, it was easier on her and it made it, there's like a sense of like, we're a team, right? But again, on her end, feeling like, well, right, I don't have a way out anyways. But also on her end, I get a mischievous, like, anyways, and right, and then I, I start, I get pulled to think about how, okay, this, and what I mean, like an awareness on both ends, like both aware of the scamming they were doing, okay? I don't feel like as a young child that obviously you know it it was this was the mother's fault okay but I feel like the the more older that gypsy became um there was an awareness like yes I know this is going on and I'm I there is it's like torn in half I have to go along with it and I want like I'll go along with it okay to get what I want in a way like I know in the media uh, there's talk she talks about she I guess would um wait for the mother to go to bed um and get on the internet and that's how she met the asshole you know the weirdo that murdered her mother um you know they both obviously knew about it of like she I feel like this girl is more manipulative and uh, like in a way, like the mother, but I feel like it's different. It's different. Sneaky. Mischievous. Okay? And a lot of times what comes into my mind when I look at her is, be careful. Sorry. I understand the abuse that happened to her as, I want to say, as a small child. But again, the older she got, you know, you, we all have choices, right? And I, I understand the feeling of not having a way out and feeling trapped. Obviously, I've never, I was not, I've, I can't relate to that situation, but I can relate to the situation in a way due to my own issues and my own abuse, okay? Um, we all have choices. And I, again, I understand feeling trapped, but I get a, I am more aware and I am more manipulative than what people think okay there is a like a i know how to play the sympathy card very well and i would be extremely careful and this is just my own opinion from what i can pick up from her energy i would be extremely careful if any like you come across her and like in any type of relationship dealing with this person and again it's horrific what happened to her, but we all have to take responsibility for our own actions. And I truly feel that this, she is more aware of what she's doing. Okay. And I mean that in every sense, she is more aware of what she is doing. And how she acts and how she presents herself. Um, going back to like how she would, I, you know, how she has made statements saying she would wait for the mother to go to sleep, okay? And she would get on the internet and that's how she met this guy and had a relationship. And, you know, there are photos of her. She took photographs, really inappropriate photographs of herself. The energy... At that time, right before, couple of maybe year, couple years before she murdered, she had her mother murdered. Okay, there's an awareness, right, of what's going on, what the mother and daughter are doing. There's okay, but I feel I, and again, I get an image or like the energy is making me feel like the mother knew what the daughter was up to. Like, like there were like agreements. You do this for me, I'll let you do this. You know, you, you, you do this for me, meaning the mother, you do this for me. And then at night, 
can do whatever the fuck you want. But if you don't do what I want and don't go along with it, whatever repercussions, you know, um, however she dealt with that, then that would happen, okay? But there is a, you know, um, so I, I do not believe in my own opinion, my own psychic opinion, what I can pick up energetically from this girl and from the mother that there, the, and I'm talking about when she was older, okay, not when she was a child. And again, I'm not excusing what the mother did. The mother was, you know, you, you, you are a product of the way you're raised, okay? And I feel like that this girl, woman, she's a woman now, right? Grown ass woman is very similar to the mother, but is more aware and more, she knows how to manipulate people better, okay? That's what I pick up. She knows how to manipulate and do exactly what the mother did, but better. So when I look at photographs of her, again, she's going to be released from prison. Fine. That's what the law. Okay. She did her time. But I would be extremely careful. Sorry. That's just what I'm picking up. Um, I'm going to use my cards and pick up like kind of after when she gets released, what does that energy look like? But I can't ignore what I'm picking up. Okay. And I believe that mother, um, was aware, um, to an extent, maybe not as, she wasn't aware as, as deep as that, how, in my opinion, how that girl, Gypsy, was manipulating the guy that murdered her mother, okay? Um, she got him to do what she couldn't from manipulation that she learned from the mother. But I feel like the mother knew that they, you know, knew to a point, okay? And I believe the mother allowed her to do things um, as long as, okay? But as far as like the mother never knowing that those two, I mean, I know there were instances, I think, I believe when the mother, wasn't there like a time they went to a movie theater and he showed up or, I strongly feel the mother knew because what I can pick up and kind of see is I see the mother on the computer looking through like history, okay? And reading stuff. The mother was more aware, but then acts like she would act and pretend like she wasn't aware. And I don't think she was aware that she was gonna get murdered, but the mother was more aware and in control of even what the daughter was doing what she thought she was doing behind the mother's back, okay? I feel like there was an, an awareness of sh that mother knew what was going on, but n not to the extent that it went to in terms of like talking about murdering her, okay? But I feel like the mother was very aware, more aware, and she knew what was going on um, between those two, but she acted like she didn't. It was a manipulation tactic that she thought she could like win, but she didn't. The daughter won because she had her murdered. Anyways, um, again, I'm not excusing what the mother did. It's horrific. Um, it's almost like in a way, yeah, I know she kind of can't help it, but I there is an energy from that girl um, that is more aware and very manipulative um, that I am not going to not talk about, um, because that's what I'm picking up. And again, I would be extremely careful, uh, romantic interest, um, men, women, you come across her, I would be very, very careful. That's all. That's okay. So now I'm going to use my cards to see after she gets released, I believe she's getting released in, uh, I think um, it said December, sometime in December. 
this December coming up. I keep getting, sorry, chills all over my body. Um, ooh, neck crack. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to, I want to know, I just kind of want to see what I can feel in terms of after she gets out of prison and who knows, you know, maybe she's had like some breakthrough in terms of like, you know, oops, <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. Um, cause at the end of the day, I don't care how horrific someone is to you. You know, um, we all have those thoughts when people are abusive and horrific to us. I would be lying if I said I didn't go through a phase in my life where I wanted to go murder my father. I thought about it. I did. Uh, did I do it? No. But it definitely got to an unhealthy uh, thought in my brain where I was like, you know, planning, you know, it, it was not healthy. And, you know, it, I understand that type of mentality. Um, but at the end of the day, you can't do shit like that. And um, I don't care who does what to you. Um, you may feel, right? You, do you really think that I would love, I would have loved nothing more years ago when I was in a really bad place um, to go and take out all my anger and all my fresh, like everything um, against my father. But, you know, we all have choices. Um, and you know, obviously I didn't do that. Um, anyways, that's anyways, let's, let me see for when she gets released. What does that energy look like for her in her life? She rose. Okay. Not the two of swords. Oh, let me just pull a couple cards after she gets released. that look like the energy in her life So I have the Knight of Cups, the Hanged Man, the Two of Swords, the King of Swords, and the Four of Wands, and then the Moon at the bottom. So right off the bat, this Knight of Cups and then the King of Swords, I'm instantly drawn to think, like, right, two different, I don't know if she has um, a romantic, multiple romantic, the Knight of Cups, um, right is very romantic but they tend to have multiple partners um they're not the and they don't stay very long uh in romantic relationships it's almost like i'm chasing that i'm trying to chase that high of you know when you first meet someone and it's like the honeymoon stage right and you're so in love um I kind of want to say maybe that's how her mentality is towards relationships and love, but I am picking up. She might have multiple um, options. Again, after she gets released, she honestly might have uh, multiple like people now um, that she speaks with or something. So this four of wands here, this four of wands, the four of wands can si signify marriage. I don't know if she's thinking about getting married when she gets out of prison, if that's something she wants in her future. Um, but the four of wands too is about community and coming together with like-minded people um, and being around, you know, I don't know if she has a good support system um, of people when she gets out. Or I'm kind of picking up, I'm more tor drawn towards, I would like a good, healthy relationship that leads to marriage. But with this Knight of Cups here, I'm pull I'm, I'm, I keep getting pulled back to uh, having multiple options. Um, so maybe she will have multiple options once she gets out. Um, the Hangman, 
The hanged man is about new perspectives, having a new clarity, a new perspective on situations. Okay. But with this two of swords, uh, sorry, hold on. I'm getting, it's like a surge of energy, right? I get chills throughout my body when I speak, when I'm speaking on some, like about something that is, you know, it's just a confirmation that I'm correct, but it like, it throws me off sometimes. Anyways, um, so the two of swords is not sometimes not seeing something clearly and needing, you, you don't know kind of which way to go. Um, and I would write, I was just saying two different people, if she'll have two different men or I don't know if she's into women. I don't know why I keep saying that. Maybe she's, uh, into both. Um, but with these birds, look at these birds. They're, it's like they're fighting for her, like, attention. Pay attention to me. But this is more mentally, like, I don't know what to do. Um, and then at the bottom of the deck, the moon. The moon um, illusions not seeing something clearly. So I don't know um, if she is not seeing something. She will have problems in the future when it comes to men or relationships and not being able to uh, see things properly uh once she gets out mm. the two i just shuffled the two of pentacles the two of pentacles yeah needing to balance out something um usually within right yourself needing to it's kind of like mm. Okay, the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is very action-oriented, right? They go for things. Instead of just speaking about them, they go for things, right? They take action um, in their life, right? And the way I... But I am picking up from this. She either has multiple people she's speaking to with right now romantically or she will speak to multiple people romantically when she gets out um and again the hangman with this hangman here it's like I'm trying to see like I have a new perspective on the way things are like there's like in a breakthrough like an awareness right but then at the same time it's like a there's a i get a heavy focus and a heavy feeling of romance or like relationships so i don't know if she is very like and you know like in a sense taking that codependency she had with the mother an unhealthy codependency that i'm strongly picking up it's like, that's going to carry over if she is um, not careful in uh, relationships. I feel like it's like a sense of I want to jump into all the it's romantic relationships. But at the same time, there is an awareness. Maybe I shouldn't. But I, I, I really feel like maybe she um, might ignore that. Um needing you know to balance out it's like a yeah that's very heavily invested in her in herself in the romantic sense and again like i said i would be extremely careful if and i i said this before i started doing this i would be extremely careful if dealing with her romantically or the seven of swords just popped out so the seven of swords if you watch my videos and you watch you know my tarot card readings um which you know nobody does but well some people do um i basically just do this for a hobby <laughs> uh 
the seven of swords, I, you know, is being deceptive, having, having a plan on how to deceive people. I hate this fucking card. I get it all the time because lots of people are like this and it's gross. This person is hiding themselves. Well, they think they are. Okay. Like, don't pay attention to me and my knife and my hidden face and what the fuck ever's in my backpack. Pay attention over here because I have a plan. I'm going this way and I'm going to deceive you. I'm going to lie to you. Um, bottom of the deck, the high priestess, the high priestess is having a awareness knowledge. It's also about hiding things from people as well. I strongly feel that when this girl gets out of prison, she will be involved romantically with multiple people, maybe at the same time, maybe not. Um, she, it's like a, unfortunately, a learned habit. And I don't, I feel like even though she's been in, in prison for years, um, I want to, I, I want to say that, oh, maybe again, having a new perspective, maybe it changed her, but I want to say, uh, there is still a part. It's like, I can't ever be honest and be myself around people because that's all that this person knows. But there is an awareness, right? There's an awareness on her part of she knows she's like this and she doesn't care. That's what I'm picking up. I ha I'm sorry. People can think that I am, uh, you know, that's, oh, how can that be the poor thing she went through? I'm not not acknowledging that, okay? I understand that. But there is an awareness, high priestess, there is an awareness on her part that she is like that. She knows, okay? And she keeps that hidden. She keeps the way she was raised and the way the, the, whatever the mother instilled on her at a young age, she knows that's not right. She knows that being that this way, manipulating people to get what you want, she knows is not right, but she does it anyways. And she hides it. Okay. Not okay. Anyways. So after this just came out, the five of pentacles, the five of pentacles is having health issues, mental issues, um, needing to heal, but kind of feeling, uh, stuck and you can't, but it's, you know, look at this card. And I know she obviously probably obviously has medical issues from again, what the poor or not the poor mother God, mother was a fucking witch. Okay. Um, what the mother inflicted on her physically, um, all like her surgeries and just different. Yes. Um, cause this card can talk about having major health issues. Um, also mental issues. Um, but you know, there's clearly, if you look at this picture, there's a way out because there's light on this door. Look at this. The key is right there. Like there is an awareness on her part, okay? She is, okay, that can talk about too. She probably will deal with medical issues and mental health um, when she gets out, if she's not already dealing with mental health issues, obviously. Um, but there's a more awareness on her part. Um, it's like she knows what to do in terms of like how to actually really, how do I say this? How to be like, but again, with the seven of swords and just what I can pick up energetically from her, um, a, you know, ob like it's just instill, it was instilled in her at such a young age that when she, I, I believe when she gets out of prison, she's going to have a difficult time trying to fight that learned behavior and I feel energetically it's more of a 
she like she knows okay she knows she she's like this and she is comfortable with it so again when she gets released from prison not only needing to kind of balance her life out but i strongly feel like she will have multiple uh partners again whether that's all at the same time and lying and acting like she's only with one person um or if it's you know she'll just bounce from one to the other to the other um so yeah i just split the bottom of the deck uh, i just split the deck in half the four of swords the four of swords is about healing so yeah i mean you know obviously she needs to she needs a lot of major help i think mentally um you know the four of swords is healing and recovering your mind your heart um but there is a pull of like are you gonna like am i am i gonna do the right thing when i get out am i going to focus on myself heal and recover the best that i can okay but i feel a pull of I'm going to go back to doing what I was doing. Not, she might not even be thinking that right now, but I feel like when she gets out, it's like, it's a, uh, right? A negative attachment from the mother that is still going to pull her in the wrong direction. Okay. And I feel like this is going to be a struggle for her to try and balance out trying to work on herself and better herself, but it's like a pull to, you know, well, I want to, I want to be happy. I want to be married and I want this and I want that. Well, fine, but you have to obtain those things the correct way. She needs to get rid of this seven of swords energy. Okay. Um, and I feel like when she gets out of prison, that is something she's going to struggle with. Do I, being pulled and she might not even be consciously aware of it at first being pulled back to old behaviors and an old way of doing things okay um that yeah that's that's what i'm picking up from that so just again in my opinion be careful i would be extremely careful that's Again, my psych, my intuitive opinion. Okay, be careful. <laughs> um. Anyways, and you know, she might. You know, we all have options, right? We all can go different ways. You know, there's a road already pre-planned for you, but it's it's ultimately your decision to pick which one you want to go down you know there, there's always times in your life like when she decided to murder her mother that was already pre-planned like energetically okay that was an option that has already been played out before these people were even alive before they came into th their physical bodies this time okay gypsy and her mother right they agreed to this this was okay already played out but we have the ultimate say what we do here in the physical body right so it's like think about it like this you're walking down a road you come to a crossroads there's three different ways you can go right one road was kill your mother another road was another option was this and this she chose to go that way because it was an option already made okay she didn't have to go that way but she chose to, okay? And now the consequences, right? Even after, right? You think, well, consequences, she's already been to prison. No, there are still consequences after, okay? She's gonna get released and she can pick which road. Now there's energy already played out for her. She 
has to choose, is she going to go this way and no, or okay, but it's already been everything that we do in life, in my opinion, from what I can pick up, it's already, it's already been pre, the energy's already been pre-planned for you, but it's your choice whether you're going, what, what, which way you're going to go, okay, um, and I pick, kind of feel, I'm picking up that she is going to struggle with staying away from her, uh, in my opinion, a not so good part side of herself, okay? Which um, I believe is attached to the mother. Um, yeah, so, but anyways, uh, I'm gonna go, that's long. Um, yeah, so, yeah. Be careful, <laughs> be careful if you ever date that person, I don't know. All right, bye.